Alright people, welcome back. More DM Do commentary. So we are joined by Omega Chaos once again. Hi, Omega Chaos here once again. This was not intended. Uh, I was, it was meant to be, you know, Ryan, if you guys watched uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tear Draft League Season 1, the, you know, the winner of it. But then he kind of flaked on me and I was like, oh, well, let's see anybody else. And like, literally no one's on. I was like, Omega, please tell me that you're not busy. And So Omega's back for Tuesday <laughs> again. Yep. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I saw, and it's still a nice chunk of dislikes from, from on the Endo commentary, so we're going to try to troubleshoot this, guys. I generally don't like talking about dislikes because it seems like when I talk about dislikes, you guys like to spite me and dislike the video when I talk about dislikes, which is ironic in a sense, but uh, we're going to try to troubleshoot this. So we're going to hopefully get some non-competitive uh, duels, some non-meta uh, tier 2 lower stuff, because it seems like... A whole bunch of Cosmos, everybody wants to play Cosmos, and you guys don't like that. I'm hoping that that's the answer. So we have Killer by Heart at only 625, and then we have this Dante guy, and apparently the Akatsuki, Akatsuki group with a 1270, so he, his earnings pretty high. He might be just, you know, uh, testing something in his uh, Cosmos, which just suck, but we're, mm -hmm. it's a match, it's an unrated. You see some Ignites, you haven't seen that on Diendo commentary, so hopefully we can get something entertaining yet not meta out of both of the players here. So hopefully you guys won't just dislike the crap out of the video. I, 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 at this point, I'm, I, I'm, I'm lost. I really wish you guys would just tell me what's up, and the only thing that I've gotten from a handful of people is just, we don't want to see meta. <laughs> so, there you go, Ignites. That's definitely not meta. I don't even know what tier Ignites are, especially with Rota going down to one, like... I guess tier two, yeah. maximum. So I would not be surprised if we just kind of see... I don't know, maybe like... <laughs> yeah, because that's only a tier deck. Yeah, I mean, like, turn these two into like a Durandal or something? Yeah, yeah that's a possibility. Yeah. The only person I've seen kind of hype up this deck is uh, Shadow Chat, saying that this deck is like tier one, and I'm like, really? Not really. <laughs> they are too inconsistent, and they have to go first, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I mean, you didn't open up with oh, and you're not even gonna see or do anything. You're just gonna leave them there. Yeah, because they're all different levels. Oh, they are. I didn't even notice. Yep. I thought that uh, Calvary and uh, Veteran were both level five. Nope, Veteran's level six. Wow, all different levels. Wow, just oh my god. Reasoning. Please well. don't be Cosmos for the love <laughs> of God. Be Infernoids, please. Son of a bitch. Yeah, so. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son <laughs> of a bitch. I... <laughs> uh... And it had to be Cosmos, too. Like, why couldn't it be, like, any other deck? It seems like Cosmos is just the most played deck right now. Like, yeah. Despite Pepe, in my opinion, being the better of the two decks, it just seems Cosmos are just being played so much. And the Reasoning version, too, which I hate. Like, oh my god. Because they are simpler to play. I'm done. I'm done. Actually, you know what, people? You want to dislike the video? Fine. But I shit you not, me and Omega have literally sat here for like 15 minutes trying to look for a freaking duel without Cosmos. And it just seems like everybody wants to play Cosmos, whether it be unrated or rated or whatever. Yeah, we tried. We tried <laughs> so hard. And got so far. And in the end, it didn't even matter. <laughs> oh my god, the 90s kids. <laughs> Alright. So, when you activate it, it's not a cost, right? If you have anything, you can destroy both cards in the mm -hmm. Thunder Zone, comma, if you do. Yeah, it's part of the effect, I think. So, can you Ghost Ogre that? I think so. God, Ghost Ogre is still expensive. Everything in Yu-Gi-Oh! is just expensive. And Breaker of Meta yeah, hasn't even come out yet, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is just expensive. I think every day that I'm just done trying to play competitive because, you know, I'm not sure if I can make anything that can beat Pepe and Breakers of the Meta or whatever that deck will become or whatever it's called, nor do I think that I can afford to make it, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything that can beat that deck. Nope. <laughs> so either you join it or you, <laughs> or you, or you, or you lose. Or you lose. Not. That's going to definitely be a tier zero deck. <laughs> rivaled by only dragon rulers themselves. <laughs> I mean, what do you do? 
Even it's even tier zero in the OCG, and they don't even have Patola Mayos anymore. I mean, unless we get like yeah. a brand new list by the time that <laughs> that deck comes out, it literally looks like it's just gonna be you know Patola Mayos with Infinity and <laughs> Insta Fusion still at three, Norden still at three. <laughs> it it's just gonna look dumb. Like I can easily see them just being like, "All right, well, I'm gonna go first turn Infinity. Go ahead and search a whole bunch of solemn notices and warning and <laughs> all that good stuff with uh, my counter trap. What's it? What's it called again? I forgot the name. Uh, solemn notice. No, no, the counter trap fairy monster. I forgot its name. I just go. Uh, uh, Ariadne. Yeah. Top solver. Ar yeah, Ariadne. Search a whole bunch with her. Maybe if you feel like it, really. <laughs> oh well, I don't think that's going to do much. Well, that's not going to do much of anything. Good job. <laughs> and if you want to, go ahead and Rafisha and set that bottom list just to put the cherry on top. So it's just it's just over. It's over. <laughs> well, in those days, you know, one even plays or plays anymore thanks to the Solan Solan cards. Yeah. Like I said, I've seen that deck. I've seen it. It goes like plus ten with ease. So ain't it? It's just, that's just, that's just going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! So at least you won't be seeing much more Cosmos, because Cosmos won't even be able to compare to that deck. <laughs> and the middle match is not even skilled, it's just that who goes first, that that player wins. Yep, yep whoever goes <laughs> first. And you're probably thinking like, oh, well, you know, uh, uh, Neptibus is coming out, so maybe... No. No. I've seen that deck get... I've seen Mermel and Lantanes, our Lantan Mermels get crushed plenty of times, just because of multiple notices. Yep. <laughs> it's just over. It's just over. Like everything is just going to fuck, and that deck is gonna be. I wonder if it's gonna reach the thousand dollar mark because I can I can easily see just a couple of do of cards in that deck that can easily reach that part. Yeah, you know, that's the much Joker absolute. and Wizard and are and the cards that are currently already out are already expensive. I can easily see that that deck maybe possibly reaching a thousand dollars main deck and extra deck total, just with the infinities. <laughs> And the Ptolemyos is... It's, it's gonna be bad, people. It's gonna be bad. No, we're not really commentating on this duel, but I mean, there's really not much happening. Like, yeah, pretty I, much. I really find Ignites to be just a really boring deck. <laughs> yeah, it kinda is. And with the Cosmo guy, he's really not doing much either. I mean... I mean... You may dislike the video, but at least you have to view it to dislike it, and it's views that count, so... <laughs> I mean, even yep. the most controversial videos that have a, you know, a dislike bar <laughs> way in comparison to the like bar have a whole bunch of views because you got to go there to dislike it, right? But I don't like having that <laughs> ideal. I don't like having that negative idea. I'd much rather have you guys view it and like the video and I'm producing content that you guys like instead of you guys just coming to the video just to dislike if you are doing that and, and not watching the video. Ah. <sighs> So, uh, hopefully this duel will be over quickly. I mean, it seems like all the guy is doing is just kind of floating on top of his pendulum-based monsters. Cause they just keep on going back to the extra deck. Yeah, just walling up, pretty much. Just walling up, and the Cosmo guy's not really doing anything. That's a lot of back row, especially for a reasoning-based deck. Like, what is all them set cards? <laughs> like, I don't think reasoning is that good, even in Cosmo. It's just too luck-based. It's too, I get it. It's like, oh, well, I have many different levels. Like, yeah, that's nice and all. And it just really seems like you're trying to get aggressive with it. But, you, you know, Cosmos do play some spells and traps, and milling them is just not worth the risk, you know? If Cosmotown said if it was sent to the Grave Rhyperion, then maybe we could go ahead and talk, but it doesn't. It has to be sent from the field to the graveyard, which reason doesn't. I don't know. I'm just unlucky with it. When I tried to play it, just like, <laughs> they would just call, always call it. Runner is becoming a problem. Yeah. I mean, Runner is not really even doing anything. He can, he can literally do much more than what he's doing. Right now, you're sitting fine. You're just going to Pendulum Summon and block. And this wall is getting... Why do you keep on summoning in attack mode? <laughs> if you have nothing to handle the Forerunner, why do you keep on summoning? Okay. At least you're going to exceed this time. I guess... Um, beyond the hope. Yeah. Yeah. I saw people playing that in their uh, Ignites just to deal with uh, Forerunner and uh, Dark Destroyer, so, alright. So, let's, let's summon, drop him down to zero, 
Also turn during your play turn back to um, attack one takes up XC monster you control and when you tilt the monster banish it then okay so not that second effect. <laughs> yeah second effect is not uh, important at all no. only in your top Alex if you even that. So I know you got some background back there you gotta break through skill it or what? You slow it down the ladder? No okay I guess it's fine. I said I was hoping I was hoping that it wasn't gonna be Cosmos. I don't know, I don't know. Your rating is high. Look, look at that rating. His rating is high. He's playing a meta deck, at least number two. Why aren't you unrated right now? Like, a match in unrated is, like, probably the most obscure duel, kind of duel, you can possibly see. And yet, here you are, playing Cosmos. <laughs> he did take three down. <laughs> Alright, maybe he has Honest... That's possible. Or something that farm girl and maybe attacking to hope play the honest, he'll take the damage, search and go to town, hopefully. Uh, what you gonna search for is maybe Cosmo Town? And Cosmo Town can get you a forerunner back, I don't know. I'm not the greatest Cosmo player, nor will I ever call myself the greatest Cosmo player. I'm probably one of the worst Cosmo players. <laughs> well, it's not really hard to play. Uh... Yep. Call that. So I'm more of a control player, it's a really aggressive deck, and sometimes I just don't see the OTKs and stuff until it's too late. My hindsight's like 2020, but if not, <laughs> I can't even say my hindsight's 2020 because sometimes I don't see it until someone calls me out in the comment section, so I can't even say 2020. <laughs> I still, I had to wear glasses even for my hindsight. Yep. I guess he's just gonna go ahead and clear, clear up the entire thing. tries to go all in, I guess. Yep. He still has his wall, man. <laughs> so, you you know, you're kind of tagging out and doing all this just for him to just be like, alright, well, Pendulum summon all my monsters back. I don't know, the matchup against, uh... Wow, so you're going to get her back and then put her back, shuffle her back into the deck. Yeah, for a random draw. For a random draw, okay. Yeah, the matchup doesn't seem bad, but, you know. Cosmos have never been a deck that's really good against, you know, fully pendulum-based decks. The reason why Pepe is still ahead of it, despite not even being at full power. Yeah, because Cosmo is kind of slower deck, mm -hmm. and relies on, on normal summoning most of the time. What's next? You're gonna give Cosmos some pendulum-based shit? Is that what's next, Konami? Komani? Very unlikely. <laughs> yeah. So what's the level 10? Is the level 10 gonna be Death Star? I know nothing. That's the only possibility. I know nothing about Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that, uh, at least. I know a little bit. <laughs> I mean, there's no way that you can't know at least a little bit about Star Wars, but from for someone who's never seen a movie, I probably know more about Star Wars than I should. <laughs> but I wouldn't call myself a Star Wars expert. So, whenever they have like some of the cards that kind of coincide with both... Uh, Star Wars and Wizard of Oz. It's kind of like, oh, okay. Okay. So, is that all he's going to Pendulum Summon? Or are you going to Pendulum Summon the monster out of your hand? Mm, no idea. Okay. What, you can just going to Solemn Warning him? Bottom with him or something? So that's one way to go ahead and handle his wall. Just get the monsters, keep the monsters from going back to the extra deck and you should be fine. I wonder if people... Oh, that, uh, what, what were you going to say? Or that grand horn, horn of heaven. Yeah, <coughs> the great horn of heaven. Because now since you can't use black horn of heaven for the pendulum summon... <laughs> yeah. I think they just did that, that for that. <laughs> just because of grand horn. They errata at the black horn. Oh, well, yeah. space time. Yeah, they're kind of like, you know what, it's actually made great horn actually useful. Like, you know, OCG, it doesn't do it like that. That's why they made Great Horns. So let's make Great Horn useful, even though it's a common. But then Solemn Notice came out, and everybody's like, what? Great Horn of what? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So a couple of uh, that Space Time being played as well. Personally, I would still play Great Horn over Space Time. Yeah, because you, you might lose a lot of life points, and you might not have enough. Mm -hmm. 
in space time only gets cards that are summoned from the hand or extra deck, while Great Horn at least gets all inherent summons. <laughs> yeah. And, and while you do get to draw, at least I'll hopefully hit more than what you're drawing into, so you'll still neg, and I can push you to the next phase. Despite him space timing right now, he's still in main phase one. Or he would be if he didn't click the button or something. I don't know. He would still be in main phase one, while uh, Brighthorn, I would force him into battle phase, which hopefully he had nothing, or if he put no summons in main phase two, I'd force him into the end phase. Which is not a terrible play. Mm hmm. Yep. Gain them 1,000 life points. Mm. Looks like uh, the Cosmo player might be able to wrap this up. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, it's pretty likely at this point. The fact that the time space trap hole. Mm hmm. We knew that the back row was something. Just main decking anti pendulum cards like space time trap hole just shows how weak Cosmos are to pendulum based decks. But you can have your space time travel all day and night, but they're just gonna go ahead, go first, infinity you, and set them solemn notices, and it's gonna be it. Just for a second there, it looked like Yu-Gi-Oh was kind of like a, a turn two kind of uh, deck with uh, Shadals and no, not even tell it, just Shadals and what's another deck that kind of like wanted to go second in that era? Necros. Yeah, Necros. Yeah. But no, nope, looks like we're just gonna go back to first where control is gonna start beating the aggressiveness. I don't know, would you say right now currently before with Cosmos and Pepe and Magic Spectre, would you say it's more of a turn one or tur turn two? And Cosmo and uh, Pepe are definitely turn two. Yeah. Magic Spectre is more of a turn one deck for sure. So, yep. So it's gonna go from turn two to turn turn one all over again. I don't know. I just find Ignite's boring with them all having the same pens in the fact and them all being normal monsters. They're just kinda of boring if that. Yep. Like they're just really Might as well play normal pendulums. That's even better. <laughs> At least in my view. Like you just just be thankful that there's actually an XC mechanic. Like just think what Ignites would be if they couldn't XC. Like think if they just had like the Cosmo I mean the Klee effect where you can only special summon Klee only special summon ignite monsters, they'd just be like straight garbage. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be completely useless. Yeah. yeah, at least they can you know, go into their uh what's that warrior monster XC monster that locks you down? Rock I forgot his name. Uh number eighty six, uh wrong oh, yeah. At least they could do that. Yep, yeah, that's that's game. <laughs> And I, I wanted to search for a match, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and go into game two and see another butt whooping. I said, uh, let's yep. troubleshoot it. At least it's not all meta deck, so. We see, I know, we've been seeing a lot of Cosmos here on the no commentary, but I can't control it. I, I can't. <laughs> I can only commentate on what people want to do it with. And if they want to go ahead and do it with Cosmos, even in unrated, then... <laughs> Yeah. I'm not ready for what, lol. <laughs> so I'm actually wondering if you guys are just, you know, actually watching the video and being like, oh my god, oh, Cosmos, dislike, or you're just being like, oh, Cosmos in the title? Oh, well, let me go ahead and go into this video, dislike, and leave. So dislikes are just so dumb. Like, I know I'm not the only one who really wants YouTube to change their dislike system. Because how the hell am I supposed to troubleshoot and change into what you like if you're not telling me? Yeah. <laughs> disliking for the dis sake of disliking? What don't you dis- what, what, what are you disliking? Tell me. No, I'm just going to dislike the shit out of the video. <laughs> and not tell you shit. Like, oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anyway, we'll be back with uh, match two. Be right back. Yeah. I can't do I can't do that. I can't just be like, yeah, you know, you two, dual unread decks and duel from everybody's entertainment. I, I don't have enough of power or uh, authority to do that. You know, if I was make a capital G or Asianize and I had all the subscribers, you know, I could easily just be like, hey, you two go ahead and duel against each other, play some non meta decks just for entertainment's sake. But I don't know these two people. I don't know Killer by Heart. I don't know this Dante guy. 
So who am I to tell them? And especially since they've already uh, started the duel even before I got in here and started the commentary. Like, wow. <laughs> and considering that that this series was meant to be with uh, high rated duels. What's up with painful decision? Like, I guess we can try low rated people. Maybe lower any people wouldn't be. I wanted to at least get 500 or higher just so they'd be skilled because I've already talked about it. I don't like doing low rated just to do low rated just to make fun of people who aren't good at the game of Yu Gi Oh! You know, if you're playing like Cosmos and you fuck up, then yeah, I'll make fun of you. You're playing a meta deck, you know? You should know that deck inside and out so you, you're getting your rating up. But, you know, low rated people who are literally just playing it on rated just to play the game of Yu Gi Oh! I mean, what's the fun of that? Oh, I'm going to make fun of this guy because he's new at the game or he hasn't played the game of Yu-Gi-Oh in a while. Ha ha. He's, a, he's not even a scrub. He's a noob. <laughs> That's hilarious. Making fun of noobs for the sake of making fun of noobs. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't like that series that Stu does. It's just not entertaining. And the way that this Cosmo guy opened up, either he opened up complete ass or he opened up completely the way to counter. So... I can easily see this Ignite guy going completely in, pendulum summoning four or five monsters, him just playing another Space Hunt Trap while the game being over. Yep. Another question, why is this uh, painful decision so expensive? Because it's used in that paper, like, at least in some variants. What do they summon? Like, Luster? That uh, Vector Pendulum. That normal monster, 1850 attack Pendulum. Really? I didn't know yeah. it would go to that extreme, just for him. It's a mass chameleon target as well. Like, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, currently the Tichichi Pepe is a lot different than the Oshichi one, yeah, for sure. seems like it. But soon that will change. Develop into something even stronger and more evil than even what the Oshichi had. Like... Enjoy your wait. Doesn't wait. Does Breaker Meta come out before the Monarch Structure deck? Yeah, a little bit before. Oh my yeah. god! Well, I guess if you want to play something cheap, buy three Monarch Structure decks, slap them together, and try to duel against Pepe. But even that, I mean, like that deck has fallen fallen down in the OCG Monarchs. How good they were have fallen just because of Pepe. Yeah, mostly because of Solemn Notice and how easily it's searched out in that deck. Yeah, you need to search out Solemn Notice, hit them with the Notice thing. Not only have they committed to their normal summon, but the majority of their plays too, so that's it. <laughs> yep, so go ahead and pendure some other monsters, get hit with like a space-time trap hole, and then that's it. That oh, worked that one. one. <laughs> that works too, so. All of them are sent to the graveyard and push him to the battle phase where he has nothing. <coughs> get to draw a card though, so. Yeah. Yeah. People are like, oh, I don't like. Don't like what kind of hole that they give your opponent a free draw. But they still nagged. He... Yeah. If they pend on someone, yeah, that's then yeah. Yeah. Which hopefully you know graveyard. No, 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 no graveyard. Yeah. It's the graveyard. They were never for summoned. Because sure. <laughs> the someone was negated, so. Yeah, I was never the biggest fan of Grand Horn, but that was just because Black Horn did the job better. But now since Black Horn is a rata, I mean, it's a fine card. Like I say, if you can hit. What, at least at least two? Your opponent goes zero? Yeah, then it's a break even. Yeah. At least two. Generally nine times out of turn your opponent's gonna pendulum summon more anyway, so and it being a common doesn't hurt either. So yeah, that hurts. And you're also forced to battle phase. I guess you're gonna draw see your next card and scoop it up, I guess, and Oh no, no, you're drawing just to go into because of the card effect. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, yep, force them in battle phase, main phase two, anything? Nope, end phase, that's... it hurts, and it's a common, too. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a Shigitaro or something. Wow. A lot of Wavering Eyes. Playing Wavering Eyes just to play Wavering Eyes. Just to... Uh, I don't know. If you're playing Wavering Eyes just to play Wavering Eyes, why not just play, like, uh, Fairy Wind? Like, only play Wavering Eyes if you're playing a Pendulum-based deck, then it's a fine side card. No, that goes. Or if you would take in in a uh, pendulum monster. All right. Well, if you take in a pendulum monster, then I guess. But I seriously doubt he is. I think he's doing yeah. it just to do it. So I'd rather play fairy. And I almost said fairy box again. I always almost say fairy box. For fairy <laughs> box. Those two different cards. Fairy box too good. <laughs> fairy box too good. Just three fairy box. 
so he's literally just destroying this man. Nope. So he didn't have a pendulum. And there's the farm girl just to fuck you up. Here we go. Yeah, that's game over pretty much. <laughs> yep. I wonder if he has enough to OTK him. Probably not. Oh my god, Dark Destroyer. Yeah, so expensive. <laughs> okay, destroying it. I guess wants to get the second search. Okay. But now you can't uh, tag out because it's once per turn. Yep. Can't tag out because it's once per turn, so I don't know where you're going with that. So, Dark Destroyer, go ahead and destroy itself to summon. Farm girl. Farm girl attack and then search for Cosmotown? Is that what he's doing? Or is it just skipping things? I'm not sure. It seems like he's skipping things. Yeah, everyone on Toynet probably likes to do that. I really don't like to do that at all. Because uh, your opponent might have a response and then it's really awkward and stuff. Mm -hmm. At least he didn't try to you know, tag out again. Oh, yeah. Oh, that play wasn't too terrible. Now he's got a farm girl and a Dark Destroyer in hand. Yeah, Dark Destroyer is so broken. Mm -hmm. Way better than that other one, level 9. Yeah, because it yeah, summons the monster, not just adds to hand. Yeah, like, what? You don't... If, it had the, if it had the same effect, it would be a lot more balanced. You know, if it's summoned, then oh yeah, like, you destroy that, and you summon Dark Destroyer, and you sure Dark Destroyer summon Forerunner, like, oh my god. Like, did you just search? Just, like, kind of meh. <laughs> you don't get to keep up the, uh, facade of your floatiness. But it's still a good card, I think. Just There's negate straps and just, stuff. Just not Forerunner good, but you have to, what, banish a monster in the graveyard? If you have a monster in the graveyard? Like, current yeah. cosmic monsters don't have monsters in the graveyard. <laughs> As soon they will have, I think. If they actually decide to have And don't spell as well, lol. Yeah. That, that was just disgusting. This man went full out. Look at this. Look at the hate for just the pendulum based decks because they already know the matchup is bad. Wow, anti spell forkins is that expensive? Yeah, it's very expensive. Holy now. crap. I actually have a play set of those. Mm. <laughs> That's nice. I don't have them. <laughs> I, bought, I got them right before Cleese came out. I purchased anti spell forkins, a play set. Secret air. Well, what I'm going to soon play a pendulum based deck in real life, anyway. What? The magician pendulum deck, but a different version than the mainstream one. Oh yeah, I forgot that structure deck is coming out with everything being broken. That deck kind of just fell off. <laughs> yeah, kinda. It's a lot more balanced than pet bad list. Yeah, it doesn't help that an OCG inside is that one. Yep. Wow, that was just. All right, people. So. I'm, I'm ready. My body is ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like Omega again and Cosmos again. It's just rinse and repeat the same shit. But like I said, I can't control what people play. All I can do is just come on on here, present you with some DNO commentary, and hope that you guys enjoyed. <laughs> so thank you, Omega, for joining me. No problem. Glad to join as always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And reluctantly i guess i'll see you guys on thursday with some more dando commentary we'll try again we'll try again maybe we'll try like a hundred rating or higher or 200 or something just lower so we won't be hopefully getting someone playing cosmos all right people thanks for watching